So what I've got here is a Venn diagram that summarizes the cars that are on the lot at a car dealership based on uh, the different the different packages that they have. Right? For example, some cars have a safety package, some cars have leather upholstery, some of them have a stereo system, and some have combinations of the three. Right. So let, let's let's see what what this is telling me. How many cars? have the safety package. Well, the safety package circle is this one. How many cars are in that circle? Well, there's two plus seven plus eight plus 12. That's 29. So the dealership has 29 cars total that have the safety package. Some of them have other things as well, right? But I wasn't asked about that. I was just asked about, do they have the safety package? All right, so let's look at the next one here. How many cars have just leather upholstery? Now, just is the key word here, right? Just leather upholstery means leather upholstery and nothing else. That would be the cars in this region. And so there are 14 that have just the leather. Okay, now we're, we're getting more complicated here, right? How many cars have a stereo system but no leather? All right, well, where's the stereo system? The stereo system is here. Okay, so that's all of these cars. I mean, I'll try that again. I can draw a better circle. There we go. But I don't want the leather upholstery cars. So let me cross out all of the leather ones. How many cars are left? Well, now I have 15 plus 12. All right, that's 27. Okay, now let's see, leather upholstery and the safety package. Well, that is this section, right? There's two that have leather and the safety package, and that's it. And there's eight more that have leather and upholstery, plus the other thing that I wasn't asked about. So there are 10 in that category. And finally, how many cars have all three options? That's this group here. And there are just eight of them. Okay, so that's how we can answer some questions, right? This, this diagram here, it helps us to kind of visualize um, how, these, how these different packages are distributed among the cars that are actually sitting on the lot. All right, here, here I'm kind of going the other way, right? Now I've given this, I've given... Uh, these results about um, pe people at, at this ranch, right? They offer um, three three different amenities, if you will. There's horseback riding, um, a barbecue, and a tour guide. And I'm given information about how many people uh, took different combinations of these. So I want to visualize this. So I, wa I want to put this into a diagram. And to do that, um, first I have to label my circles. So, <coughs> excuse me. We'll do horseback riding up here. We'll do the barbecue here. And we'll do the tour guide down here. Now to do these, and I, I've said this before, right? To do these, you always want to start at the inside and work your way out, right? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look for the number of people who did all three. Right, and that, that is this first group here. 17 did the horses and the barbecue and the tour. So I'm gonna to put 17 here in the middle. Now I'm gonna start working my way out. And we, we may have to jump around a little, then, and that's okay, All right? 28 attended the barbecue and purchased a tour guide. Okay, barbecue and tour guide, that's this section here. And I know that the total of these two regions has to be 28. All right, so that means this one must be 28 minus the 17 that are already accounted for. That's 11. All right, now let, let's do a little, let, let's cross some stuff off here. Well, like I said, we may have to skip around, so I want to know which ones I've already used. All right, 24 took horseback riding lessons and a tour guide. Okay, so horseback riding lessons and a tour guide. That's 
this section. And the total has to be 24. So this section here that's missing still, 24 minus 17, that's 7. So now that one's done. Okay, 42 took horseback riding lessons but didn't attend the barbecue. Okay, horseback but no barbecue. That's this group here, right? And that's 42. Well, this is good. You see what you see what I'm looking for here? I'm, I'm always looking for a situation where I know I, I have a number for every one of the subregions except for one. Because then I can just do a little subtraction and get the one that I'm missing. All right, so this is going to be 42 minus 7, which is... 35. All right, that one's done. All right, 86 took horseback riding lessons or purchased a tour guide. Okay, horseback riding lessons or a tour guide. Well, that, you see, that one's a problem. That's this bunch. And I'm missing two from this region, right? I'm missing two. So, yeah, I, I can't fill that one in yet, right? And and that's okay, right? Like, like I said, we may have to skip around, right? So let's, let's do that and try the next one. 14 purchased only a tour guide. Oh, where's the only a tour guide section? That's here. So that's going to be 14. Okay, 86 took horseback riding lessons or purchased a tour guide. Okay, now, now I'm in good shape. Horseback riding lessons or a tour guide. That's this part. So all of these together have to add up to 86. So I'm going to do 86 minus 35 minus 7 minus 7 minus 11 minus 14 so let's see if i if i add up all these negatives this is 86 minus uh 35 and 7 is 42 59 69 7 69 79 80 whoops yeah i messed myself up 42 59 69, 70, 84. There we go. 86 minus 4, that's 2. So that's the number in here. Okay, now, I'm, I'm a little bit concerned because I actually have two regions left to go. Right? I have this region here. And remember, there's always the outside. There's the number, there's the people who did nothing. Okay, who just sat around in the pool. I don't know. All right, well, if you look up at the description, it says everybody did at least one thing. Okay, well, that's good because that means this outer section here is zero, which means how many are in here? Well, there were 100 people all together, which means this section must be 100 <coughs> Minus 35, minus 2, I'm just going to subtract everything. Minus 17, minus 7, minus 11, minus 14. All right, what's that come out to? 35 and 2 is 7, 52, 59, uh, 59, 70, 84. 100 minus 84, that's 16. And that's it. Right? I have filled in every region in the diagram. So let me clean up a little bit, take my calculations out, and there you go. Right, That would be my final completed Venn diagram.